Hey guys, I am here with my good friend Steph. We are outside Cycle Bar, Culver City. What made you decide to want to franchise this amazing company and bring it to this part of California? Oh gosh, all right. <laughs> a couple years ago, I turned 40 and I woke up and I was like, I need to do something different with my life. And I just decided to follow my passion, which became fitness. And after a lot of crazy Google searching, I found Cycle Bar and really just thought it was an amazing way to pursue the next half of my life. So. And it's not just an accident because you walk this walk, you live this lifestyle, you run Ironmans and you're not just running, that's swimming and biking swimming also. And biking. So it was just kind of natural, right? To just step into the passion and decide to make it your work. Totally. You know, I had gotten a lot of people that um, had seen a real change in me and they were like, what are you doing? What do you do? And started to ask advice and see how they could apply what I was doing to their life. And I just realized that this could be something that could be my next step. I found that I love helping people and this was a way that I could start to help people. Yeah, and you're so good at it. And Cycle Bar is this community now in Culver City. What makes Cycle Bar different than other cycling gyms? So aside from all the wonderful amenities that we include once you get in our door, it really is a place where people feel home. They, it's kind of like their cheers bar. Um, you come in, everybody knows your name. And it's just such a fantastic place where everybody feels welcome. You know, it was really important for me to make sure that everyone who comes through our door feels comfortable and not intimidated and just have a place where they can work on their own personal journey and feel inspired. What's it like working for a female entrepreneur starting her own business? I love it. I love everything about it. Um, number one, because she's a female entrepreneur starting her own business. Good people bring good people, so then therefore we have like all these wonderfuls that are in our classes because it really starts with her. Like we just hit our year mark. No, We're, that's amazing. We turned one. Um, Happy birthday to you. you. And it's already bumping, like packed class. Oh and it's only going to get. Out yeah. On a Saturday yeah. morning at 9.15. Yeah. So it's only going to get more people and more community. And we've got cycle giving. So we raise tons of money for charity. And, and she's, all, she's all over it. As soon as I made the decision that I wanted to change my career up and just do this crazy leap of faith, everything started falling into place. I, it was so funny because I used to visit this center all the time, like there's such great places here. We have Starbucks, we have Sage Bistro, this awesome vegan bistro behind us. And yeah, I was here all the time and looked at that place all the time and then never in a million years would I think this would be mine. Yeah. And it is. And I know every story is not without its struggles. What do you do when times get hard but you know your vision is right there? How do you push through and how do you an Iron Man when you're one mile away and you're like, my legs are gonna die, what do you do? I get so inspired by, by all the people that are here in the studio. Whenever I'm feeling that there is a struggle, every day someone thanks me and multiple people thank me and they high five and they say, you know, Steph, I lost another five pounds or Steph, you know, like this, I'll get letters and people will write to me that they were having a hard time, they lost their job, they lost someone in their family, they lost their dog and Cycle Bar was here to help them, you know, keep on going and if they didn't have us, you know, they don't know what they would have done wow. and that's something that I feel like I have to get up every day now and just make this place spectacular because it really means something. It means something in my life and it means something in other people's lives. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's for the greater good. You know you're <laughs> dialed in when it's for others. Thanks Aww, for having us thank today. You.